Hello, hello. Hi guys, it's Lisa here and I'm with Aisha. Aisha, say hello. Hello guys. <laughs> okay, so we are outside Slough Test Center as you can see on your right hand side. And we are going through some slough routes today. So yeah, follow us for more routes and um, let's start our slough route. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the like button and also click on the bell notification so you can um, so you will get all the notification about new videos and even if you have passed your test any family member friends they can have a look at the channel they can get some help and we do like um yeah we are starting some mock test because Aisha sure. I had a few calls about mock test yeah. and uh, we haven't started them yet so hopefully by the end of June we'll start some uh, mock tests and I know a lot of people have test earlier before June but unfortunately um, because we are so fully booked we cannot start the mock test before that so let's go through the test routes okay so we start from here the test center the slow test center is on your right and i am moving now just doing my checks and then i get to the end of the road positioning my car to the left stopping here because obviously it's a uh, dead end on the right hand side but still obviously there are cars so they can come like i can see a blue car coming but oops he is stopping okay he stopped right in the middle of the road which is quite weird but his choice okay so now aisha is going to guide me exactly as your instructor would yes next traffic, next traffic now we are turning left okay so i'm already positioning my car to the left hand side checking first into the mirrors middle mirror and the left mirror signaling like five to six car length before mm -hmm. and stopping at the first stopping line not like him uh -uh. you can see the car on your right hand side you can get a serious mistake for that if you cross your first stopping line because that place where he is stopped at that is for cyclist bikers so make sure that you don't do that a lot of students ask me, yeah, but why is he doing that? And I always answer, oh. that's because he got a license. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> a <famous. laughs> yeah, but what can I do? There's no other answer. I mean, they forget the rules. Honestly, after they have passed, most of them. Okay. okay. So uh, we are right now we are on the Langley Park Road. Okay. And the speed limit is changing in a bit like here it's going to the national speed limit which is 60 so boom now we are speeding yeah it's a very small area which is 60 
sure that you check your left mirror, middle mirror, left mirror at least three times. If you're taking your fourth exit, check it like four times, okay? Because this is the best thing you can do and this is like the easiest thing to remember. Yeah. Yeah. Don't just sit there like a mummy, okay? Make sure your checks are visible because if the examiner cannot see your checks, that means you haven't done the checks. There's no way being stubborn, that's not going to help you. A lot of people come and say, oh, but I did check. Yeah, but the examiner didn't see it, you didn't. So you can see the signboard on the right and the fourth exit is Uxbridge. I have already slowed down my speed. Now I'm going to signal to the right, keep it down to 10, 12, 15, something like that. And see, this gave me the chance to check. So now, first check to the middle mirror, left mirror. Second check to the middle mirror, left mirror. Third check, middle mirror, left mirror, signal left mirror check and moving to the left and taking the fourth exit. I hope it's very clear for you guys. So now over here the speed limit is 40 which is soon going to change to 30. Yeah. And this road called Slow Road. Okay. And as you can see, make sure that you check as far as you can. So see, this is changing to Exactly. Don't make the examiner jump or yeah. don't make the your mom jump beside you because trust me she's gonna slap you. Okay? So yes. Let me take a sip of my coffee. I shall give me a cookie. <laughs> okay. You can pack it like a real. I don't like this. Mm. Okay, and from here, maybe you will be asked to follow the signs to Ivor. Oh my god, Which these is... cookies are so good. <laughs> uh, sorry guys, these cookies are so good. Honestly, these are Japanese cookies. Oh my god, these Japanese people, they eat this sweet and they're still so slim and beautiful. <laughs> we're jealous. Yeah, we're jealous. But that's because they drink green tea with every meal instead of us Asians drinking water. So <laughs> Okay. So from here we will follow the signs to Ivor which is basically on the roundabout it's right and on the second roundabout it's right again. Okay. So you can see the two small roundabouts. For some reason I don't know, I don't understand why they have to make so many roundabouts in England. But okay. So I signal right like for five car length before and then you can see there's a sign in the middle this round circle make sure you respect it okay and keep it slow signal right again because now you're turning right again and make sure you check your right mirror because there can be people who are just gonna try to overtake you as they know you have an L plate on they think L stands for losers, okay? Uh, <clears throat> no, no, it doesn't. It doesn't, so don't worry, okay? Yeah. So the speed limit is 40 here. And this road is called uh, Pranger Road South. Pranger Road South. Look like jungle road. <laughs> it's very nice and beautiful. Yeah, but I wouldn't walk here in the middle of the night. So yeah, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't live here. Sorry guys, I'm just like thinking negative right now. 
it's very easy. There's nothing special in there. Look, my god, he scared me. <laughs> he didn't have much space there. this in your test uh, lucky you Follow the road down. 
So it's a pen. That means you don't need to signal. And on this road, he might ask you for any maneuvers, like pulling up on the right, or maybe parallel parking. So that's a very nice car for us. And this is a very calming road as well. Yeah, calm road. Yes, seriously. It's so quiet. Very quiet. And this road calls uh, Cyclone. then your view is more clear. I can see nobody is coming. Things wrong. Everybody's coming from anywhere. Hi, I can see market. 
not used to Aisha's car so the brake can be a little harsh for me a little okay yes okay, both sides clear yes both sides clear and then I at the end of the road we will turn right again to the high street high street so do I stay okay so from this traffic light you mean Just in case you get wrong onto a lane, like mm. for example, it's a right turning lane, but the examiner told you to go ahead. Make sure that you just turn right. Yeah. And keep focusing the traffic lights. Because yes, because taking a wrong route cannot give you a serious mistake. But doing a wrong thing, like for example, turning left from a right turning lane only can give you a serious mistake. Because that's going to be dangerous. Okay guys, so that's it. That was the test route, uh, one of the test route for Slough uh, test center. One of the easiest one I've ever seen. And um, yeah, that's yeah. it. So we are yeah. coming with more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are making more test routes for Slough, other test centers. So make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit, hit the like button, click on the bell notification so you don't miss any of our videos. And uh, if you want to contact us, uh, our number is in the description box and you can see it on the screen as well and uh, good luck if your test is coming up soon make sure you have a chewing gum in your mouth uh, when you are going for the test because that calms you down don't worry the examiner is not your future father-in-law so don't get nervous about it that you're sitting with somebody is just a normal person a normal sweet guy or lady who is 
just judging your driving that you're safe driver or not so don't be like a like a, seriously don't panic in your test okay that's the tip i can give you calm down make sure you have enough sleep the day before don't just stay up till four o'clock and then go for a seven o'clock test because that's not going to give you a good result okay <laughs> so, from me bye bye aisha you want to say something yes i want to say goodbye <laughs> okay <laughs> okay take care guys bye